Unlike some competitors, the creators of Caddy did not save on quality. There are no complaints about either the assembly of the car, or the interior materials, or the operation of the equipment. Unless on cars of the first years of production, 2004 to 2006, failures of the air conditioning compressor were noted. The doors do not cause complaints either, the hinges do not sag, the rollers of the sliding doors do not stick and do not creak, and the locks do not rattle, such troubles are typical for some pies. Corrosion resistance is also good, and the presence of rust is evidence of the emergency past of a particular instance. So that the cost of the car was not too high, they saved on something else, for example, the caddy does not have a glove compartment cover, and the lining of the luggage compartment and the rear of the cabin is only in the most expensive versions, see photo. The salon will please with a large number of pockets, niches, shelves, glove compartments, cup holders. The main thing is not to forget what lies where. Inside is spacious. A third removable row of seats was offered as an option on the Life version and came standard on the Maxi Life. In the first place, there is not enough legroom for passengers in the back row, and in the second it is enough for a comfortable fit. In general, the Caddy power units proved to be reliable, although minor characteristic malfunctions were still identified in them. So, in a 1.4-liter gasoline, 16-valve, failures of individual ignition coils are possible. The manufacturer is aware of this problem and even organized a campaign for the free replacement of failed parts, including through domestic dealers. In the 1.4-liter engine of the first years of production, 2004 to 2005, it was also difficult to start a cold engine. VW later changed the manufacturer of the fuel injectors and the problem was fixed. The 1.6-liter brother creates fewer problems. Of the solar units, the 1.9-liter engine turned out to be more reliable. In the 2.0-liter turbo diesel, injector failures were noted. Poor quality parts are replaced by the manufacturer under warranty. Otherwise, the fuel equipment of solar engines digests our diesel fuel quite well. Turbines also last a long time. In addition, diesel engines are economical. With a quiet ride in the city, it's really possible to meet 6 liters per 100. The only serious remark to diesel engines is a long warm-up in winter. Experts recommend additionally installing an autonomous engine heater or interior heater. Warming of the radiator of the cooling system improves heating slightly. The timing of all power units is driven by a belt, which must be changed along with the rollers and tensioner every 90,000 kilometers. In the 1.4-liter engine, the belt connecting the camshafts is also updated. Mechanics recommend replacing the pump at this time as well. Most caddies are front-wheel drive, but for this model, an all-wheel drive version is also provided, for motion, equipped with an electronically controlled Haldex clutch, which connects the rear wheels when the front wheels slip. Although our 4x4 versions are classified as exotic, the Caddy was aggregated with the conventional 5-speed mechanics and a 6-speed robotic DSG with two clutches. In the latter, the brains are equipped with an adaptive control program that can adapt to the driving style and change the moment of gear shifting. DSG can cause trouble. There have been problems with the computer, the so-called mechatronics, which is manifested by jerks when switching, usually from first to second gear. In the best case, at a branded service station, you can carry out self-adaptation of the clutch. If this does not help, you will have to change the mechatronics unit. In the mechanics, after 100,000 kilometers, a double bearing may wear out, manifested by increased noise. Fuzzy shifting can be caused by loosening the fixing nut on the spline shaft of the gear selector. The oil in the manual gearbox is designed for the entire life of the unit, and in the DSG, the lubricant must be changed every 60,000 kilometers along with the filter. The running caddy is knocked down, but at the same time it is more comfortable than some of the competitors. An independent McPherson structure is used at the front, and a semi-independent torsion beam with powerful leaf springs at the rear. Both suspensions are with anti-roll bars. Thanks to the use of rear springs, the Pi has a high load capacity. Long wheelbase cargo versions can carry more than 800 kilograms, and in practice they are able to carry about 1.5 tons. In the front suspension, the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out the fastest, after 80,000 kilometers, and the front silent blocks, stabilizer struts and thrust bearings can last about 100,000 kilometers. At the same time, the stabilizer bushings go much longer. They are rarely changed, this is not a cheap pleasure, since they only change when assembled with the stabilizer. The resource of ball bearings is almost 200,000 kilometers. 
Rack and pinion steering was equipped with two types of amplifiers, electric and hydraulic. The first, on cars 2004 to 2006, could disturb. The gearing of the rail and the electric motor wore out, manifested by a characteristic knock. Later, the node was modernized, eliminating this trouble. But the hydraulic booster, as a rule, serves without problems. Tie rod ends can run 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the rods themselves can run even longer. There are no comments on the brake system. The servicemen noticed that the ABS pull sensors are very sensitive and can be damaged if the unskilled repair is done, for example, if the unfortunate mechanics knock down the ball with the hammer. For such work, it is recommended to remove the sensor first. Customers like VW Caddy because it is made better than many competitors, and in many ways more reliable. Good and purely professional indicators of the heel, carrying capacity and trunk capacity. This model is perfect for both work and leisure. All this contributes to popularity. The choice of used copies on the secondary market is large. Moreover, motorists are not embarrassed by the higher cost of caddy than many competitors. They know what they pay for.